everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a haul video for you guys and this is my very first haul. Um, I got a lot of Jeffree Star products for Christmas and I also had previously purchased a few as well. So I really just wanted to show you guys my collection. It's not super big, I don't have all of his products or anything like that, but the ones I do have are just the ones that I really wanted from his brand. And I have a few of the highlighters and quite a few of the liquid lipsticks and then one of his lip ammunition lipsticks. So, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lindsay. Uh, please hit the little red subscribe button down below if you like my video. And if you aren't new here, welcome back to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more hauls from me. So I wanted to film this for you guys and show you what I bought and also try it on for you so you can see how it looks actually on the lips and the highlighters on the skin. So let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start out with the one I have on right now and this is called Dirty Money and it is this kind of pale green beautiful amazing muted army money green. It's called Dirty Money so I guess it should be a money green right? Um, and I absolutely love this one. It's such a weird out there color but it's so pretty and it does look a lot darker on my skin because I am normally quite fair. Right now I have a little bit of fake tan on but usually it looks like a pretty dark green on me just because I'm so white but it is this and it is pretty true to color as well. Next up is a shade called Anna Nicole and it is a bright orangey red color and it is a really good just basic red. I really love this one and it is flattering on pretty much anybody. I usually look good in more cool toned reds but this one is quite a warmer toned red but it still looks good on my skin and I really love it. So let's check this on and see how it looks. bad application but <laughs> this is what Anna Nicole looks like and the bonus is it makes your teeth look super white so it is just a really good basic red and I highly recommend it to just about anybody. Next up is a shade called Dream House and this is his metallic pink liquid lip and it is gorgeous if you guys like metallic lips or um, dewy lipsticks or shiny I should say these these are just amazing his metallic liquid lip line is just so beautiful hot pink with sh like a metallic -y shimmer in it so let's chuck it on and see how it looks so this is what dream house looks like and as you can see it's just a really bright hot pink with quite a reflective metallic sheen to it so it is just really pretty and really good um, I would recommend it to anybody who wears pinks or hot pinks any pink lovers you need this one another metallic liquid lip I have from him is um, an inappropriate shade so I will link it down below if you want to know what it is called but it is his blonde gold metallic liquid lip and it is so pretty it is pretty dark on me because of my skin tone, but other people it looks really light. Let's check this one on and see how it looks. What this one looks like, it kind of reminds me of like a copper penny or something similar to that. It is really pretty and really wearable even though it is metallic. And I just absolutely love the way this one looks, especially with this eye look super cold. <laughs> so yes, that is that one. Next up we have a shade called Posh Spice and this is a gray nude color and it is pretty light in the packaging but once I put it on just like all the other liquid lips they look darker on me but this one is really really pretty. It's like a gray nude color, a very muted and wearable color as well. So let's check on Posh Spice. applications in this video. <laughs> so this is what Posh Spice looks like and it is just like I said a really pretty gray nude and goes with just about any makeup look as well. You can wear pretty much anything with this. So next up we have a limited edition color and this is in the shade Watermelon Soda and it is a corally hot pink watermelon color. I don't even know how to describe it but you guys know what I mean. And this one is really cool because it smells like watermelon. It is Oh, I love it when products smell good. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I just love it when products smell good. It just makes it even better for me. 
So yeah, this is a really summery shade, and I believe this was a limited edition summer color, but I was able to buy it a few months ago, so this might still be available. Um, I would check a few different web a few different websites that um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics are available on, but this one is definitely a summer color. I will be wearing a lot, and you guys will see in a lot of my summer videos very soon, so let's put this one on. So this is what watermelon soda looks like and it is so bright and pretty and I don't even know. I just love this color. It is gorgeous and a lot of people can pull this off, especially uh, tan people. I feel like this one looks really good on tan skin, even though I'd still wear it when I'm fair, but I just really like this when I am fake tanned. But yes, that is what watermelon soda looks like. Next up we have a shade called Scorpio. It's like a muted purpley shade that has kind of like, not a gray undertone, but it's just a muted purple. So this is what Scorpio looks like. It looks more purple on me than it um, actually is, but it, because it is a lot more muted than this in real life, but it is a really, really pretty shade. I'm really excited to use this in some tutorials, and I feel like it is pretty wearable, even especially for purple, it's pretty wearable. So if you're afraid to do purples, I feel like this one would be really good to try out because it is so muted. Next up, we have a shade called Blow Pony, and it is a bright purple and super pretty. I absolutely love this one. It's just like a kind of candy, um, bright purple. It's just a bright purple, um, not super wearable if you're afraid of bright colors, but I would totally wear this out and I absolutely love it, so let's see how it looks. So this is what Blow Pony looks like, and it is showing up slightly brighter than it actually is, just on camera, but it's really pretty um, either way. It's just this bright purple and just such a fun color. If you like fun colors, you definitely need this one because it's very unique and I haven't really seen many shades like it, so definitely pick this one up. The very last shade I have for the Velour Liquid Lipsticks is a sh shade called Queen Supreme and it is a bright pink, um, even more hot pink than the Metallic um, Dream House. You can see them side by side. They're two different kinds of pinks. This one's a lot brighter and um, definitely a different tone of a different shade of pink um, a different undertone as well can't quite pinpoint what it is but this one's just a lot brighter and it's very similar in brightness to blow pony I feel like just the pink version so yeah let's throw Queen Supreme on and see how it looks so this is what Queen Queen Supreme looks like it is very Barbie pink. If you like Barbie pinks or hot pinks, this is definitely a must-have. And the one I've I've worn this quite a few times recently, and I always get compliments on it. It's just one of my favorites for sure. I'm probably gonna repurchase another one as soon as I run out because this is one of my favorites from him. So yes, that is the last Velour liquid lipstick, and we will move into the lip ammunition lipstick. So I only have one shade of the lip am ammunition at the moment and it is in the shade Ice Cream Boulevard, and it is a similar hot pink to Queen Supreme, but Queen Supreme is a little bit more purple and a little bit darker. Um, this one is more of like a baby bright pastel pink, and it is also really pretty. These ones aren't quite as long wearing as the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. They still do stay on way better than normal lipsticks. Um, it's just I find the Velour Liquid Lipsticks do stay on all day and I can eat and drink or do whatever I want with those and they won't come off. This one um, will fade after a while, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't, it fades really well. It doesn't get patchy or anything like that. It's really pretty baby, bright pink. So let's throw this on. what Ice Cream Boulevard looks like. You can tell it's a lot brighter than the Queen Supreme color, but it is, for me, wearable. For some people, not, but I really like the way that bright pinks look with dark hair, so I tend to wear this one quite often. It doesn't really go with my eye makeup, but it's just a really pretty color, especially with like a smoky eye. It looks really good, but yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. I love all the bright colors that he has, so yeah, that is Ice Cream Boulevard, and 
Now we're going to move into the highlighters. So I'm going to start out with the shade Ice Cold from his Skin Frost highlighters. And it is a white highlighter. I'm going to try and hold it up for you guys. But I did drop this and break it, so it's eh, kind of scary. But yeah, the whole star is crooked because I dropped it. But um, yeah, so it is a white highlighter. And I will swatch this on my arm for you guys to see how it looks. So this is what Ice Cold looks like. And as you can tell, it's just a really bright, reflectant white highlighter. And it's just really pretty and super pigmented and super blendable. They're just gorgeous highlighters. All of his highlighters are really pigmented. So yeah, that's what Ice Cold looks like. The next highlighter I have from him is called Princess Cut. And it is a lavender baby pink color. And also good for fair skin, just like the Ice Cold one, which is why I really like this one. And it is, I find this one to be a little bit more chunky than the other two. I, for some reason, this one just doesn't come out of the pan as easy. I don't know if it's the one I got. I don't know. But it's still a great highlighter. It's just that I find this one to be a little bit harder to blend. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in buying his highlighters. But yes, this is Princess Cut and I will swatch it for you right now. And as you can tell, Princess Cut isn't quite as pigmented as the other ones. Uh, I, like I said, I, again, I don't know if it's the one I got or not, but yeah, it is a baby lavender pink color. Let me see if I can get more for you guys. That's a little bit better. So that's what that one looks like, and it's really pretty, and you can tell it's very similar to the ice cold on the skin. And the last Skin Frost highlighter I have from him is called King Tut, and I can only wear this one when I am tan because it is quite dark, but it is a gold, um, just a really basic... Um, gold color. So I do find this one to be a little bit more pigmented than the other two. So this is King Tut on the skin. It's super pretty and gold and reflectant. Great for um, tan or darker skin people and it is so so reflective and highly pigmented. If you were to get one out of the three I would go with King Tut. It's probably my favorite one. Hey guys that was my um, Jeffree Star haul and swatches video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I own from his brand. Um, whether you agree or not with him, his brand has amazing products and I absolutely love everything he comes out with all the time and I love his videos. He's such a talented person and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more hauls, comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!